God is drawing the birth of a brand new day. Lost our senses in every way, in every way. Don't we know? Don't we know someone's trying to teach us? Don't we know? All right, all right, all right. Welcome to Peace in the Morning. Your host, Darius A. Stanton, live right here in the studio with, man, we have a dynamic show for you this morning coming off of the Rolling Grimes live show. Can't wait to talk to you about that. But we in the studio, none other than the man himself, Daryl Barnes. Delegate Daryl Barnes, good morning to you, brother. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Then we have some special mama son, some mom, mama, mom, mom, mama, mama, and her son sauce in the studio this morning. All the way live from Annapolis, Maryland, Tacoma Park, Trinidad and Tobago, Kingston, Jamaica. Uh, let me see, where else can I say in the world? Morocco, Gambia. Bring the mic to you real close, ladies and gentlemen. Queen Aya Sudabe. Morning program. Thank you so much for having us this morning. All right. Peace in the morning. Well, listen, we're excited um, because we have a lot to talk about. We had a huge weekend, Mother's Day, all week long. We talked about Mother's Week. And so we decided to keep Mother's Day flowing. Matter of fact, we're going Mother's Month. Is that right? I, I think it's a great thing. And uh, let me first start off by saying, uh, Happy Mother's Day to your mother. No doubt. Happy belated Thank Mother's you. Day. Happy Mother's Day going forward. Uh, I think it's exciting to see mother and son in the studio working together. Uh, she's showing the world that uh, how she has laid down the foundation. And uh, her son, Darius A. Stanton, has taken the baton and leading the way. So I'm excited about the show this morning. No doubt about it. No doubt. Thank you, Brother, brother Barnes. And, you know, uh, let me just give you some hot topics that we're going to cover. So first and foremost, we're going to introduce you to our international co-host, uh, Queen Ayesuda Bay, talking about cosmic manifestations and all of that will bring the artwork, the music, um, health, entertainment, and that international perspective. So, you know, we have the state majority whip. Delegate, I'm, I, I promoted you already. I, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Deputy Majority Whip, Delegate Daryl Barnes, who covers the state. Um, then we have uh, Lady Karan, who's on travel right now, covering the national scene with the NAACP uh, as the Director of Health. And, um, you know, we are so excited to have the Queen in the house to address our international issues. Now, you know, the, the, the big deal this weekend, um, of course, we're all pumped up and ready to go. Mom, you and I watch uh, for our first Mother's Day weekend chill out down at the National Harbor. We got a chance before we went to the International Peace Council uh, conference called Great Achievers. Yes. Is that it? Is that the title, Great Achievers? Yes, the um, International Peace Council USA. The International Peace Great Council Achievers. USA, Great, Great Achievers conference. And um, we met some phenomenal people there. But before we did that, we took time out to watch the Wizards win the game. Yes, that was so powerful. Come from the bottom, go straight to the top. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And so I like you, it. you know, we always pump the Wizards, so we're gonna talk a little bit about that. But they did do that. They they won that big game. I mean, that was a big game that they pulled off, and it was none other than wall ball. That that that's what it was all about, you know. And I love your mother keeping her ears to the street. She said, we take it from the bottom to the top, <laughs> you know, listening to a little drink. I love it. Man. That's right. That's right. So, you know, being able to um, take the Wizards from one level to the next, 
tonight is the big game, and they will go into what we will see uh, into the East Coast Championship. We're going to speak it into existence because they're going to have to go in Boston and really play some ball. Oh, they're going to have to bring their A game tonight. Uh, I think this is uh, one of those things that every sports fan, every sports player definitely looks for, and that's game seven. That's right. You know, uh, as a child, you know, playing basketball and growing up, it's nothing like being in your backyard or on the basketball court with your friends, and and then the clock is down to four, five, three, That's it. two, one, and you're taking that last shot to win the game. So I think you know it's going to be exciting. I think the fans are are, are all geared up. I know there's all kind of uh, watch parties going on this evening, and uh, everybody wants to see how uh, John Wall uh, performs tonight. So you know we talked about um, the wall. But we also had a serious, serious that two guard man. He played ball. He brought he brought it to the hot to the to the we call it laying the wood. You know he went straight down the gut, real physical. Um, so we definitely have to give um, the brother you know his props because he brought it. I mean, you know he he, he just he, no fear, physicality. He brought it to the table. He didn't settle for the jump shot. He went to the hole. And it really did, you know, pay off for the bullet. I mean, for the Wizards. Uh, I see we have a call on the line, uh, so we'll take that call the first thing. Welcome. All right. Turn your turn your phone down a little bit, please, if you will. Welcome to Peace in the Morning. Peace in the Morning. Yes, ma'am. Hi. Yes, ma'am. And look, we know we continue Mother's Day, so Happy Mother's Day to you. Thank you so much. So who do we have on the line this morning? This is Joyce, and we were looking online. We had you online and just trying to figure out where we at the right spot. You at the right spot. You are right here. It's playing at the tip, music, at the and we're not able to be involved with your particular conversation. Well, now we've you been are online. Well, now you are. Where's well, now you live? You you watching online? Where? W. Where where you calling from? Uh oh. Where, where are you calling from? Where, where are you calling from? Atlanta, Georgia. Excellent. Atlanta, Georgia in the house. What All the, right. What All they right. Call, we call it the clean south. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Hello, ma'am? Yes. Yes. Are you looking on elifemedia.net? Yeah, we're on um, elifemedia.net. Great. And that's just playing music, and we've been listening to it since 9. We awesome. haven't been able to get your show. Awesome. When you, when you go to the... Uh, first page of the website uh, a box will will appear in the middle that's a TV screen you have to wait for that to come up and then hit the uh, play button that appears in that screen and you'll be able to watch live okay right, that's you... what comes up there's a box that says you stream and when we click on that that was a pre-recorded oh now it looks like you all are live awesome. there we go there we go there ah, we go. now we can see you all right Right. And listen, we can't wait to hear your son's song. We can wait. So we'll be listening to K. Nels right here uh, live. So K. Nels, make sure I see you shared it on Facebook. Uh, K. Nels is a young brother that grew up in Annapolis Gardens, uh, in Annapolis with the Hunt family, and uh, moved down to Atlanta. And now is doing music, rap, hip-hop, R&B. So stay tuned for the song Woman uh, as we lead off our Mother's Day month as we continue Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to you. Thanks for calling in. And uh, we definitely want to hear from K. Nels a little bit later in, in the show after we're able to play his song, Women. Beautiful All song. Right. No doubt. So stay tuned as we, we, we get to that. Uh, so I'm going to shift gears a little bit. Uh, the next game was Sunday night. And that was... Um, oh, Golden State and... Uh, San Antonio. San Antonio. And so they were down, what, 25 points? Down 25 points. And I tell you, if you, had, if you missed that game, then you missed the show. Because the third quarter was nothing more than uh, the Stephen Curry show. Wow. I mean, this brother was dropping threes like it was raining outside. Wow. Uh, to bring them back, uh, I think he had 19 points in that quarter alone. Mm. Uh, and the fourth quarter was our very own Kevin Durant. Wow. Uh, he Merlin showed why Bay. he's uh, the best Maryland player we have. Whoa. And uh, he put on another show as well. I think they ended up with, uh, I think Stephen Curry had 38 points in uh uh, Kevin Durant had 30. Mm, wow, tag team. So we're excited about, you know, the, the, the series starting to shape up, and now we'll see who will end up playing in the uh, in the finals from the East and the West. 
So we're going to keep rolling on with the hot topics. So, you know, the, the, one of the keys from this show, you know, we have two primary focuses. One is to promote asset-based communication. And we want to make sure that when we provide you all with news, we don't give you the gloom and the grime and the ugly things. We want to promote the peace, the positive, and the lovely things, the lovely topics that are going on, things that will help you to motivate you throughout your day. In addition to that, we also want it to be action-based. So when you listen to our show, when you watch our show, you're able to get up and do something. You can take your notes. You'll be able to get some phone numbers, some emails, some resources via the Internet, the library that will help you with your life and progress your family, your business, your community, your spirit and your soul. So those are the two primary focuses. We want to be asset based in our communication. We want to make sure we drive the action. And um, that's what we have right here at the table today are people that drive action. Now, we also participated in the Rolling Grimes live show with Greg Boyer at the Indian Head Black Box Theater. And it was a phenomenal, phenomenal production. Rolling Brubba Grimes brought Mike London, the new uh, head coach from um, George, not Georgetown. Howard University. Howard University uh, in the house. And we have a, the, 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 now we got some news. We have to bring that to the table uh, to share your sister's head coach um, on her way to coach with the USA team. Yeah, well, yeah, she's uh, uh, got an uh, uh, offer to be one of the assistant coaches for uh, the USA team. But more importantly, she's leaving Georgetown. Wow, that's big news. Uh, matter of fact, uh, they're having a press conference in Delaware today where she will now be the head coach for the University of Delaware. Wow. Uh, so I, I congratulate her and very uh, much so. wish her much success there. Very much so, very much so. Uh, but it was a, it, the stage was full of sports. As a matter of fact, with some Georgetown guys in the house. Um, there were Howard guys in the house. I mean, it was a pro pro ball players, uh, international speakers, authors. We had a, a heartbeat, and the go go whole go go world was in there. No heartbeat was there. A oh, heartbeat got got on the Congo. I grew up with heartbeat. Oh man, well, look, Congos got on the Congos. Heartbeat lit it up in the studio, man. It was powerful. I mean, uh, anybody who got a chance to see it, you can check out our Facebook page. You can see some of the live streams. Uh, you'll be able to check it out soon on YouTube. But uh, Roland Bubble Grimes, congratulations to you, brother. You did a phenomenal job. Uh, you carried it from top to bottom. Did an excellent job as the host. You had some top eLife Media people in the studio with you. Uh, Heartbeat, uh, myself, uh, Lady Kim. Uh, tomorrow, actually, we will be having uh, the sister who runs the show who introduced us to eLife Media. Uh, she's coming on board uh, to join us tomorrow in the studio live. And so we're real, real, real excited. Sorry, so I have a quick question for you. Yes, sir. Who said, when you were on interview, who were you interviewing with? Do you remember? The brother played, his name was Daryl, and he played with Georgetown. Daryl Prue. Daryl Prue. He played with West Virginia. West coast Virginia. At Georgetown. Coast of Georgetown, that's uh, right. But the other gentleman, Bernard Joseph, who came on after Mike London. Right. That's Steph Curry's godfather. Wow. That's just a little unknown trivia. Wow. <laughs> wow. So, you know, it was a star-studded event. The brother Greg Boy has played with Prince, uh, Parliament, Funkadelic. Who else has he played with? Uh, Chuck Brown. I mean, the list goes on and on. The brother and the band was tight. And you actually missed a freestyle by yours truly, the man himself, Mr. Peace and Love, let the mic go. Did we let it go a little bit? As a matter of fact, you can actually check it out. Uh, on our page, uh, Darius A. Stanton, those Darius, Mr. Peace and Love, we did record some of that. But, you know, we have some other matters that also took place over the last week. And this is really why we, you know, today we want to focus on on the Queen and, and Cosmic Manifestations because we got a chance to go down to the National Gay Lord and participate in the Great Achievers Conference. Um, that's live now. Pull it up. Okay, all right. Well, when we, we'll, we'll come back later and we'll show you live uh, what, what transpired on one of our breaks. As a matter of fact, um, before we bring the queen back on, I just want to kind of set, set the stage for the International Peace Conference that we attended with the Great Achievers. And one of the gentlemen we met, we met a number of phenomenal people. One was the world record holder for the most Guinness Book of World Records. Wow. Over 30 world records he holds through Guinness Book of World Records. And they were in areas of 
of human be of human development, customer service, volunteerism, philanthropy. Uh, the brother was out of sight dynamite, and uh, we got a chance to talk with him, as well as the chair and founder, Dr. Kumar. Uh, we'll to share those interviews a little bit later in the week, but we really had a lot of you know positive folks uh, that were productive doing things all over the world, and so that's what we want to promote. You know, there were some very negative things that took place in Anne Arundel County this week, uh, last week, uh, where two young people went up on top of a building and and put a noose up and hung it. Uh, we had some other negative things happening University of Maryland, as well as Howard. And, you know, we didn't focus on that. We didn't start the show on that. A lot of people are putting that on the media and promoting it. But our purpose is to turn that around and really focus on the powerful young people that are in our community mm -hmm. um, that are doing some great things like Sean L. Ferguson, a uh, young lady who's the state director of the NAACP. Yeah, uh, she's the, uh, the president of the uh, youth chapter uh, and the president of the Bowie State University of Maryland chapter president. Mm. Uh, real progressive young woman. Uh, I admire her a lot. She's uh, really had her, has her head on her shoulders. Uh, and once again, I contributed to her mother, uh, Charlene Jefferson, uh, who has taken the time to really groom her daughter uh, to be the outstanding young woman that she is today. Then we have some dynamic young men that are on the school board. Uh, Edward Burroughs. Yeah, uh, our, our, our school board here in Prince George's County, Maryland, uh, uh, really has taken uh, to some of our young people uh, that are really uh, progressing. Uh, Edward Burroughs has lead, is leading the way. Uh, he's one of our uh, staunch uh, young individuals who's been on the school. He's the longest tenure uh, school board member, believe it or not. Wow. Edward Burroughs is the, the longest tenure uh, school board member. And then we have some young up-and-coming uh, school board members. Uh, uh, David Murray, he just won the election, uh, uh, what, last year, That's two right. years ago? 25 years old. Uh, 25 years old. Uh, uh, Rashila Ahmed, she's another young woman. Under 25 as well. Under 25. So you have three, a, three board members, four board members, under 25 years old. That's doing some outstanding things. And, and then we have our uh, student-led school board member, Jawan Blocker. Wow. Uh, so these young cats are, are really progressive. They're doing some things and making a stance. And making everybody uh, stand up and pay attention to them. Well, when we come back, we're going to take a little music break, a little music interlude. interlude. Um, we're going to show the show, piece of the show. We're gonna, is that what we're going to do? Get a little piece of it. We'll get a little piece of the Rolling Grimes show, the live Rolling Grimes show at Indian Box Theater uh, with myself and the brother Daryl Prue from <laughs> Georgetown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> The piece of the morning show is not just about education, but it's also about entertainment. Hit it! One, two, three.
All right, all right, all right. Welcome back. We're live right here at eLife Media. That's www.elifemedia.net with the Peace in the Morning Show. I'm Darius A. Stanton here with none other than the man, Delegate Daryl Barnes, and in the studio for the first time, but definitely not the last, our international co host, the incomparable Queen Aya Suda Bay. Welcome back to the show, Mom. Thank you so much. Thank you all for having me. I think this is a wonderful opportunity for all of us and for our community to, to really pep it up, to step it up, to really rise it up, to take it to a higher level because that's all our young people need. That's all families need. We're very family oriented. We are what we call uh, living proof family works. Mm -hmm. We're always working together. We're always supporting one another. And we initiate projects. Whoever has it, the other one just takes it and we all go with it. I think very important for us to work together and recognize what good quality leadership is all about in our community. When I listen to these gentlemen speak, I think about leadership. There should not be competition in our community for leadership. There should be coexistence, collaboration, and cohesiveness. We should learn to work together and that will better our communities. As soon as we stop competing with one another and lose the ego and start realizing the damage that's been done to us as a people and our community, especially our children in schools, in the community areas, in with the violence and drugs, et cetera, bad behavior, all of that is tied into us not having quality leadership like we really could if we all work together. And so I'm very happy to be here because one of my major focuses is quality health, nutrition, and eating. As you know, in addition to all the wonderful things I've been blessed with, it's all about um, what we put in our system and what we do with what we put in our system and then what it does to us. So in other words, it's not what you're eating, but what's eating you. Mm. Uh, sounds good. You know, and as I was listening to you uh, speak, you, you, you said something that kind of caught my ear before we go into your healthy eating and healthy lifestyle. Uh, well, you said leadership should be more of a collaborative effort. Mm. That's, that, 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 did that ring a bell for you? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm curious, you know, as you have traveled around the world and you've been seen by so many people on, on so many different stages, how would you or what would you recommend for community leaders uh, to come together uh, to start collaborating? What, what do you think those steps should look like? Well, uh, very important, and thank you for asking me, that's a very pertinent question. Very important for leadership is to know the people you're working with. A lot of people are telling the community what they need, but they've never been in the community. So how do you assess the needs of the community if you don't know the people in the community? Mm -hmm. The major role in leadership is to know the people you're leading. Duh. So in my understanding and in my travels, <laughs> I see it's important to communicate with the community Having uh, documents, having f uh, familiar information circulating, having questionnaires. What do you want in your community? What's happening in community? Who's doing what in your community? What resources do you or don't you have in your community? Educational things. What do you know about a smart meter? What do you know about um, radioactive cell phones? What do you know about microwave? What is building our community versus what is destroying it? And once you start circulating information, like how we have this radio program, we have to have the follow-up is the documentation of what we're doing and handing it out into community. Those who didn't get an opportunity to see us be a live stream or hear us on the radio live, let them have an opportunity to read what it is we talk about, what it is we consider as important. What do we call um, asset-based communications? What is that? How can we have that in our community? So if you have enough leaders circulating the information that they have, instead of people worrying about, well, it was my idea, so I don't want it out there because it's my idea. I'm the one to present it. No, if you're a leader, it's everybody. You need other people's ideas. To formulate leadership, you need everybody's ideas. And how do you get that? You put your information out in the community, and you'll be shocked to see the response. Man, I see where you get it from now. <laughs> I, I, I see exactly where you get it from. No so, doubt. Queen, uh, where, where, where have you traveled? Um, I've traveled um, in the islands, the Grand Cayman Islands, 
British um, Grand Caymans, beautiful place, yeah. snorkeling, uh, scuba diving, working with people in the community. It's beautiful. It transitions. They have the largest number of religions in the whole world are in that island. So everybody gets a chance to practice what they believe in. It's amazing. What are some of the other islands? I've been to, um, I work in Jamaica regularly. I have a good crew there. Work with a number of radio stations, radio people, families, um, renewable energy projects. We do um, community activities, environmental education and awareness, the need and importance of recycling trash, what that's all about. We do um, building self-esteem initiatives and all over Jamaica and Kingston, where most people are afraid to go. I love it. <laughs> I wouldn't stay anywhere else. It's wow, the you... best musicians, the best communication, the best food. Lots of people who love you. Can't wait to be a part of something that's powerfully interested. And they're unique. They read. The homeless man on the street has five newspapers on the side of him. He's going to read them all. You are a very busy young lady. Yes. You um, know... So through your travels through the Caribbean and uh, looking at our lifestyle here in the United States, how, what's the difference in that, that healthy eating and, 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 uh, and nutrition uh, here in the United States versus uh, in the Caribbean? Uh, this is a very uh, poignant point you're making here because there is a big difference and I'll tell you. Mm -hmm. If you're in the country, you're eating off the land. You're eating pineapple grown right there, cassava, breadfruit grown right there, dropped right off the trees, mangoes right off the trees. You're eating mm, coconut. I wait to say you're mangoes. grating coconut. You're drinking coconut milk. You're making coconut oil. Everything is right there, all the different kinds of fruit. Uh, however, what is happening is when anytime a system wants to change the vernacular of people wants to change the culture of the people, the first thing they do is send in fast food. Mm -hmm. So when you start sending, like here in America, parents run for fast food. It's very hard. And mothers, you know I'm not kidding you. Look for the quick fix now. The um, easy to put in the microwave food, the easy packaged food already set up for you. All you have to do is put it in a microwave or put it in the oven. There's very few women today who are actually cooking home cooked meals where they actually went out and brought bought all the products all the seasonings or growing the seasons in the house or in the yard in the garden and coming inside and actually making a full course meal in jamaica cooking is very important a brother doesn't want a sister who can't cook so so basically what i'm hearing is it is important and vital uh, that we are conscious about the food that we put into our bodies. So from a healthy standpoint, especially for men, you know, uh, and, and, and men and I always say, you know, we don't always like to go to the doctor. Uh, we don't always like to get our checkups. Uh, but they always tell you that, you know, uh, the reason why we have a high level of prostate cancer uh, is because of the weight that we carry, uh, the, the stomachs that we have. Uh, and that contributes to the food that we eat. The food, I, I'm going to stop you right there. The big belly, let's talk about that. If everyone would just take their left fist and ball it up and put it right under their heart on the left hand side. That is the size of your stomach. Everyone's left fist balled up is the size of their stomach. So if your stomach is sticking out anywhere past that, you have to ask yourself, what is that? That's waste matter. That's putrefaction. That's dead poison contaminating the entire body and what does it do it slows down your sex drive your machine doesn't work properly it slows down the heartbeat it takes too much energy to get the cells to take pump the oxygen to the heart it clogs it up it makes you snort <coughs> mm. That's like <coughs> and you want someone to sleep there with you every night while you're doing this. And that causes sleep apnea. Exactly. So what can we do? The first thing I would suggest, and in traveling, I've traveled to China, I've been to Beijing, Shanghai, Pudan, Sichuan province, Xi'an. I was invited two years later to come back when they celebrated the um, British moving out, the British route of takeover of Hong Kong. And I can tell you blatantly 
The eating there is like night and day to the West. They have a plate with 14 different kind of vegetables for breakfast. Yeah, and here, here in, uh, in the, Eggs in and the bacon. United States, we Sausage. want to supersize everything. Yeah, and, and, and you're going to church on Sunday, but you're stopping by some of these places, and I'm not going to call any names, but you know what they are, where they have sausage for breakfast, uh, make-believe um, potatoes they have for stir-fries and what have you, and you're eating that food, and when you get in church, it never digested properly, because nothing will digest in the human system if it is not first turned into a liquid with the saliva in your mouth and the teeth. That's what they're for, the jawbone, the teeth, to chew the food until it actually becomes a liquid. Once it becomes a liquid, it can go through the esophagus and then into the blood cells where it is carried throughout the body as a nutrient to the rest of the body. If it's not a nutrient, it's just going to go right off into the colon or your intestines, and that's what's swelling. A lot of men are getting intestinal diseases, women too, colon cancer, all kind of cancers because you're not eating the food properly, you're not eating the right food, you're chewing the food a little bit and swallowing it, so it never digests, it causes problems in the chest, you can't breathe properly, you can't run properly, clotting up the legs and the major arteries, so your legs get tired after a period of time, stop. Stop. Drink more water. Wow. You need alkaline water. If you're drinking water in plastic bottles, say, oh, we've got three cases. You just bought three cases of poison. Why do I say that? Plastic bottles are made of diesel fuel. So put your mouth in the back of a truck and smell that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Let me give the folks a number the chance to give you a call when you fix your number two, and then we're going to go to a song real quick, one of Queen Aya Sudebe's songs that is playing all over the world. As a matter of fact, uh, her music was has been ranked a number of times in Jamaica, but 240-455-5934. That's 240-455-5934. Call us in live. Right now we got folks watching on Facebook Live. Uh, Troy Dennis, I see you out there. Uh, Ms. Danita Bloomer Galloway, I see you out there. So, you know, give us a call because we know you're interested and want to hear uh, and ask Queen a question uh, about your health Absolutely. and welfare because, as you can see, she is dropping the knowledge and she definitely went to college. Go ahead, Queen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, peace and love. And I, I want to um, speed it up a little bit to things that we can do for our children. Stop buying fast food. Just stop it. Stop buying bottled water. Take your water from your pipe. Or go get um, water from glass bottles, put it in glass bottles, buy some glass bottle juices from the supermarket. Look for organic, certified, and if you can, vegan, V-E-G-A-N. Take those foods home, take your water, cut up celery, one celery, cut it in half, put it in each bottle of quart of water. It will alkaline the water. You need alkaline water. Why? Because you need oxygen. Later on in the program, another day, I'm going to talk to you about Enagic, E-N-A-G-I-C dot com. Enagic water, water that's alkaline, ionized, microclustered, healthy, medicated titanium plates that help to heal the entire body, whether it's brain damage, autism, high blood pressure, diabetes, and cancer. cancer, all these things can be changed. Once you learn how to heal yourself, treat yourself, take care of yourself, love yourself, love the body. Number one, get rid of ice cream. Ice cream is totally unsafe. Oh, that's my favorite. It's made from cheese byproducts, butter, butter oil, evaporated milk, condensed milk, all types of buttermilk, all types of skin milk, milk treated with sodium hydroxide and desodium phosphate, plastic cream, dried cream. Cream, cheap poisonous thinners, propylene, what you call paint remover, antifreeze, imagination or imitation flavors, flea killers, embalming fluid, leather tanners. Do I need to go on? Oh wow! Well, let me let me pause only well, for does, a moment. Does, does Hog and Dog have all that? Well, you, I can't tell your name on the show. <laughs> <laughs> that's my favorite. <laughs> I'm just telling you, buying things that are killing you because we've become so. Complacent with convenience. Convenience is destroying our community. We we don't walk to the TV. We use the remote. We're losing our ability to exercise. Everybody's driving. When something happens and these electric cars stop, and they will stop, a lot of people are going to suffer because they don't walk. Yeah. They don't exercise. You need to exercise every day. 
You need to stop eating sugar. Sugar suppresses your immune system. Let me stop on sugar, and we're going to come right back. Don't okay. forget to call us at 240-455-5934. Delegate Bonds, you had a question or comment before before we make no, this transition? No, I, I was just, you know, going to comment on uh, she's saying that, you know, about getting up and walking. You know, I was sitting at home today watching the, the basketball game, and the remote was, you know, less than two feet from me. And I called my son from downstairs to go get the remote. Oh, from. wow. You know, so I was really being lazy. Right, you right. Know, so everything that you're that she's saying is absolutely true. Right. That we have to do a better job of exercising and moving around and moving our limbs uh, because that's the only way we're going to try to live uh, a healthier lifestyle. No doubt. And Delegate Barnes, I know that you, you've got another uh, program you got to attend. Uh, so we're going to make a shift. But as we do that, uh, we're going to go to another one of Queen's songs uh, this morning right here live at elifemedia.net. We want you to get the message, my people. Call us at 240-455-5934 as you listen to Get the Message. You can get it on iCloud, SoundCloud. Yes, indeed. Get the message by Queen Ayasudebe.
I want to continue about how sugar, I'll just give you five things very fast that you can write down. Sugar suppresses your immune system. What does that mean? The energy, the cells that are in the body, the bacteria that are in the body to protect the body are diminished through eating sugar. Eating sugar is candy, all kind of sweets, drinking all kind of sugars and sodas and food. Put it down. So sugar is just as bad as crack cocaine. Sugar is a worse. Sugar is a poison to our community, just like um, a number of things that I'm going to go through this week. Another thing is sugar. Uh, sugar upsets the mineral balance in the body. Sugar causes juvenile delinquency in children. How do you know that? Just give them a lot of candy and watch their behavior. Then they go to school and they call it hyperactive because you put too much of something in the body that has no nutritional value. You want the children to have nutritional value. You say, well, what do we give them? What is the alternative? Make green juices, beets, uh, kale, spirulina, parsley, carrots in the morning, add an apple. That's about the only fruit that's really good with um, those kind of vegetables. Beets by themselves. Beets and uh, parsley, that makes a good drink. Fruits and vegetables don't go together. Create the sugar that comes from the fruit. Give that to your children. Look for organic berries, blackberries, blueberries, strawberries. Make berry drinks with uh, silk milk, almond milk. Learn to eat healthy, nutritionally, and value your lives. So, 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 so excuse me for interrupting. So, so we can encourage parents who are having challenges with their children uh, in school where they've been uh, diagnosed them with ADHD and all these other uh, ail mental or psychological or behavioral and emotional ailments um, just by first and foremost taking them off of sugar. Take them off of sugar, give them more blue -green uh, algae, water, blue-green algae, spirulina, uh, focus factor, put them, get them off of a lot of meats. I actually had a homeschool student very rapidly who came to me at 11 years old. He was diagnosed ADHD, OCD, a number of things, and um, he was put out of every school in Maryland and Washington, D.C. I turned him around by preparing his meals for him, working with his parents to stop giving him meat, pizza, cheese, butter, ice cream. I made all kind of nice foods for him. I prepared meals for him daily. I taught him how to eat raw vegetable salads with um, beets and red cabbage onion, ginger, garlic, uh, broccoli, uh, radishes, avocado, made our own salad dressings from eggless, mayonnaise with no soy, no um, canola oil. It changed him. Inside of a year, he was doing from fifth, sixth, and seventh grade work. He was doing eighth, ninth, and tenth grade work. At the end of two years, he was doing 11th, 12th, and freshman year college work. He was accepted to the University of District Columbia for aeronautics and engineering. A professor came up from the University of Kansas, spotted him on the campus, took him back to the University of Kansas, gave him advanced chemistry, meteorology, um, aeronautics and engineering, and he flew an airplane at 13 years old. He graduated from Flowers High School with 19 hours of flight time under his wings. Anyone can do this. Our children are exceptional. You see, there's an eight-year-old boy right now um, graduating in physics, in college from physics. Eight years old. Eight years old. It's, we, a, matter, it's a matter of what you feed we, our children. We, right. If you want to feed them to live, feed them right. If you want to feed them to go another way, feed them what you've seen on television consistently that's been marketing, marketed to us, uh, foods that do not reproduce uh, oxygen in the body, but rather, rather lay in the body as toxic waste. And so these are the things that are happening and impacting our children. Uh, we want to make sure that you have a chance to call and ask any questions at 240-455-5934. We're extending our show today here at Peace in the Morning so you can get a whole earful, eyeful of none other than Queen Ayesuda Bay and Cosmic Manifestations. So, Queen, Mom, what else uh, would you say is critical 
uh, in terms of good health. You talked about water and alkaline water. Uh, if you're not able to buy alkaline water, you don't have an alkaline water producing machine. You talked about how to alkaline a alkalize your water. Tell, uh, please explain that again for those who were not with us earlier in the show. How can you alkaline? You can your water? alkaline the water with cucumber and or celery. All right, lemon. Does the lemon also alkaline? Some people can use lemon, but people who have low blood pressure shouldn't use lemon because lemon helps to lower the pressure. If you have high blood pressure, you should use lemon. Um, also, there are things you can do to help the body with arthritis, with um, different types of cancers. It's known. You can look online. Everything I'm saying is validated. On um, moringa, you can use moringa powder. Learn about moringa. Learn about moringa seeds. Learn about moringa leaf. Learn about natural things to help to heal the body. Learn to exercise every morning for at least 15 to 20 minutes. In the evening, when you get off, before you start ready to lay down, exercise, build up that body steam again, get that oxygen circulating throughout the body. The longer you lay down, the harder it is for you to exercise. I would also like to say, try fasting a week at a time. Maybe some people can just go three days where you're not eating from 6 to 6, 6 in the morning till 6 in the evening. And during that time, you're just carrying your alkaline water, your water in a glass bottle uh, with the celery in it, and you're drinking that all day long. After three days of that, you will have lost weight. You will have more energy. You will see that belly fat going down. You will see your skin tone changing, a clarity. If you want to look younger, clean your body out. Clean yourselves from waste material. There are a lot of people that have all kinds of sicknesses. Um, they've been going to the doctors diagnosed with having worms. How does that happen? Actually, we, we have a, a caller. Good morning. Welcome to Peace in the Morning. Who's on the line? Joyce is on the line with a question for Queen. Okay. You said Joyce Hunt? Yes. All right. And a question for the Queen. Go ahead, Ms. Joyce. I want to ask her, um, as I am 55 years old and have always eaten incorrectly, and that's what's happening in our community, how do we now, what programs do we specifically put in our communities now to get the young children to begin to want those foods that's good for them? It's very important to show them, athletes, good morning, um, Joyce, peace and love. It's very uh -huh. important to show them, athletes who are complete vegetarians or vegan. Um, the world's uh, strongest man, Miss America, is uh, vegetarian, mm. vegan. You need to look it up. Go on YouTube, look for uh, or Google it. Um, athletes who are vegetarian, American athletes who are vegetarian, and why. And push that. Make them see why it's done, how it's done, and the good that it can do. And then you need models, people in the community who are willing to make the challenge and say we're putting, to, we're putting together a program for um, peeping the, uh, the greatest winners. Uh, you have the greatest losers. We have the greatest winners, Fitness Global. And what that does is all the people are winners. And how we work together is we stop each other from eating foods that cause sickness and disease. That's what's happening to us. We're brilliant. All of our children are scientists. We come from Kemet. Chemist is chemistry. Yeah. That's where the chemistry word comes from. We just need to see them. That's the, the key and the question, and you, you, you hit it right away. In order for us to be able to have our communities focus on eating better, drinking better, we have to show them people who have those skills, who are using it. So the folks, as my mom said, those athletes, uh, those artists, those talented folks that are working uh, in our community, we need to show them and highlight them as vegans, uh, as vegetarians, people who have put meat down, who are working and doing well, because we follow what we see on television. That's why we're doing the Peace in the Morning show. So in your community, create things that promote positivity. Market. Market the good and turn off the bad. That's the key. Market the good and turn off the negative. Focus on the positive. Continue to put stars out there, but not stars who are living the same lives, doing the same things. We want to retool how we lead. So we need to promote folks that are doing things and eating right 
so that they can encourage young people to do so. And we've got a super guest for you in the studio this morning to talk to you a little bit about, and he's a prime example, Mr. Kess, Kessian, Kessiana. Kessiana, good morning, Kess Lord Kessiana, welcome to the studio. Grab the mic again, I like how you did it. Tell us your name again, please. Yes, that's right. Kessiana. Kessiana. That's right. Kessiana. Okay, we're going to ask Kessiana some questions. Um, do you eat meat? No. Why? Because it's not good for you. Excellent. Um, Kessiana, what class are you studying right now? Oceanography. What is oceanography? The study of what? Animals under the sea. Animals Excellent. under the sea. We have a uh, we have a person on the phone. We want to just say thank you for calling in, Miss Joyce. Really appreciate thank it. You. We got you. We we did we, did we answer your question? Yes, gotcha. All right. Thanks so much, and stay tuned for the K Nels show on women. Okay. Um, we want to ask Kessiana another question. Kessiana, when people are driving, they should pay attention to what? A traffic. And what is traffic? When the cars are on the road. All right. And um, we want to separate the trash. We call that re-what? Recycling. And recycling, recycling is when we do what? Separate all the trash. And what are some of the things we recycle, like? Paper. And what else? Um, Pla plastic. And, and and glass. Right, very good. Excellent, good job. We want to ask you another take question. A um, take a bow. Thank you. <laughs> We want to ask you um, about something um, very small called back what? Bacteria. And what is bacteria? Micro what? Microorganism. Hold on, tell the people bacteria is what? Bacteria is organism. Micro. Micro. Organism. And we can see them through a micro what? Microscope. Excellent. We want to thank Cassiana. Tell them how old you are. Four. Right. This is a homeschool child, four years old, just turned four, who's studying a number of sciences right now. All of our children have the capacity to do this if we eat the right food, drink water, spend time with them, get off the telephone, get off the computer, and show the family connection, show the family love. All right, let's give Cassiana a big round of applause right here, live. Take a bow. Yes, indeed. Take another bow, Cassiana. All right, Cassiana, we thank you so much for joining us at the Peace of the Morning Show. Else? Mm -hmm. What? Style Tiger. <laughs> Style Tiger, okay. Style Tiger, that's in the. And Style Tiger. Okay, good. All right, all right. Let's give it up another big round of applause for Cassiana. Yes, sir, Lord Cassiana. Homeschool student, uh, as you can see, doing a excellent job his pronunciation uh, he does not eat meat uh, he drinks water and he says I drink coconut water all day long all right so just to give you an idea of what uh, you can do with your children if you just put them on the right foods and give them the right things to study learn and listen uh, before we go I just want to give you an idea for those of you can see I'm showing a book in my hand it's called African Holistic Health. African Holistic with the H-O-L-I-S-T-I-C, Health. It's by Leela O. Africa, L-L-A-I-L-A, -L -L -A, capital O, then capital A-F-R-I-K-A. It is an astounding, phenomenal book on herbs and vitamins, minerals, glandular foods, recipes, sexual personalities and types, Foods to avoid self-diagnosed charts, diagnostics charts, male cycle, female cycle, anthrax, AIDS, and cocaine addiction and remedies. Get this book and use it to help you to change and transition your life from sickness to wellness, from low esteem to positive self-esteem, and take yourselves on an adventure of healing like never before. This is something when you asked me, uh, Joyce Hunt, a caller earlier, what can we do in the community? Get this book and start circulating this book. Start reading it. Take it to church. Take it to the community center. 
Read it out loud to your children. Go over it with your family, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your mate, your husband, your wives, and see the different charts that show you about the colon, things about the feet. Everyone can learn this. It's not what you're eating. It's what's eating you. Another book I recommend, The Key to Vibrant Life, is by Dr. Norman W. Walker. Dr. Norman W. Yes, Walker. And that book is called The Colon Health Book. The Colon Health Book. Learn about the colon. Learn that the cause of death normally is colon neglect. Holding bowels too long in the body. From the time you sit on the toilet and you have to go, uh, you are not well. You are not well when you have to sit and force your stool. That means you're eating food that has compacted the waste material. And it's a strain on the colon, the lower and upper intestine. What can you do about that? Study that in Dr. Norman Walker's Colon Health Book. Another book I would like to recommend are Raw Juices. You Can Survive, an A to Z Guide on Juicing by Sandra Kabat, Dr. Sandra, S-A-N-D-R-A, Kabat, C-A-B-O-T. This is what that book looks like. One more book I would suggest, actually two more books I would suggest, is the issue through bowel, tissue through bowel cleansing. Tissue cleansing through bowel management. Dr. Bernard Jensen, a nutritionist. Bernard Jensen, J-E-N-S-E-N. -E -E Tissue cleansing through bowel management. That's this book. For those of you, a question that a gentleman asked me earlier about the eating difference in Jamaica and the islands in here, a lot of people there don't have Alzheimer's. Why? Because they use coconut. They use coconut oil, they drink coconut water, and they eat the coconut jelly from the coconut. Here is the book, Expert Advice, Delicious Coconut Oil and Recipes um, for Health and Beauty by Laura H-O-L Zapfel, H-O-L-Z-A-P-F-E-L. Cynthia and Laurel have come together to do this book. Look up things on coconut oil, coconut jelly, coconut water. Learn to change, transition your health from eating fatty oils, vegetable oil, and use olive oil or grape seed oil for cooking. Stop eating fried foods all together. From the time you burn the oil in the pan, it becomes a toxic product that can destroy your health and healing power. You want to get better sight, you want to feel better energetically. You want to be able to go up and down those steps without your hip and knees hurting. Change the way you eat. Knock off that weight. Exercise. Drink more water. And it wouldn't help you to get up early before sunrise. Do some firm, positive affirmations. Say some good prayers. Whatever religion, belief you have in life. Turn your lives around. Our communities are suffering. We're in a ship that's going down. Water's on the ship right here in America. The only people I know that stayed on the Titanic was the black band who kept playing until the ship actually went under. So I'm giving you some hints that how we can get the water off the ship and keep the ship afloat is to cleanse ourselves, mind, body, spirit, and souls. Soul cleansing is essential to good health. Thanks. Tune in again tomorrow when I'll be doing more reasons how sugar ruins your health what's eating you, and what you can do about it to stop it and get on top of your health situation. Where can some of these, thank you so much for sharing, uh, Mom. Uh, the, matter of fact, let me just tell you how beautiful you look this morning. Wow. And uh, uh, Tremaine Crawford also said, the law of the picture, people do what people see. Uh, thank you, Tremaine, for sharing that with us. Also, Danita Bloom Gall Bloomer Galloway said, where can I purchase this book? Okay, these books... You can go online, you can get these books on eBay, or you can go to a bookstore, Barnes & Noble. You can go to a health bookstore um, and look for the book. Go online and put in the name of the book in Google, and it's going to pop up where you can purchase it, and you can take it from there. 
Excellent. But these books are like, if you're in Annapolis, you can go to uh, Sun and Earth. If you're in D.C., you can um, In Blue Annapolis, Nile. you can go to Sun and Earth and tell Gail the names of the books. If she doesn't have them, which she more than likely will have them in stock. But if she doesn't have them, she'll be happy to order them. Order them. You can go to bookstores here in D.C., the Tacoma Park uh, Food Co-op. You can go to, um, what did you say, another store? Blue Nile. Blue Nile, right, on Georgia Avenue. But these books are well known in major bookstores. They're not hidden. Look them up. You will find they're easily accessed, and they're not expensive. The most expensive book here is the Holy Thing House book. I think this is $20. The rest of them are 7 9 10 12 5 things of that nature. They're very good. Awesome. Carry them everywhere you go. Your life will change. You will get better. Get off all that medication. Get off all those computers and radioactive things. Another topic we're going to have later in the week is the dangers of cell phones and computers and how we can use them for our purpose and not them use us for right. theirs. Thank you. Thank you so much. Peace and love. Excellent. Well, we want to thank um, Cassiana again for joining us in the studio live, our four-year-old young brother who wants to be a doctor when he grows, who's going to be a doctor when he grows up. He waved at us. Let's give him a look. He's going to be a doctor when he grows up. Cassiana. Thank you. Lord Cassiana, thank you very much. Uh, also, Queen Ayasuda Bay gave us some dynamic information as well uh, as some books for us to read and follow up on right here at Peace in the Morning. Uh, coming up now, we're going to hear from a young man who has totally used his energy and effort uh, in the hip-hop community as well as R&B. You'll hear the song. Uh, his mother called us last week and said, I really think this would be a great song for your Mother's Day show. And since we're having Mother's Day all month long here on Peace in the Morning, we wanted to bring this song to you. So a world premiere, first time being heard internationally right now, live on the Peace in the Morning show, Kelly Nels and Woman. We dedicate this song to you, all the mothers across the world. Uh, listen ladies, y'all have a gift to give a gift And what gift is better than life? Don't worry about them worries It gets better despite It gets better with life Ladies, I need y'all to live Ladies, I need y'all to love Ladies, I need y'all to forgive All the men that did you dirty Karma will get them surely Cause nine times out of ten The sucker wasn't worthy for the love of your bosom The love of a woman They the reason that we breathe We need to love our women All the mothers Working hard, holding down the household in two and three jobs. For you, I applaud to the women of our youth who will grow up to be parents, who will one day find love, who will one day bear children. I pray that you raise them right, instill them with wisdom, love them and support them every single day you live in. Cause you know it takes a village of love, of trust. It takes me, you, we, us, let's go. Take a good look at my mama and you get a glimpse of me So whenever you see k knows you get a glimpse of she I'm just trying to make her proud and be what I'm meant to be See my mama raised nine kids, four women, five men All of us piled in the hood, it was wild then Good, it was trials then The bad times were bad, she still kept us smiling You should walk a mile in her shoes You probably wouldn't last a millisecond She would bear the burdens of the world and she didn't Sweat it, man, if I could gift wrap the glow I would tie it with a bow I would seal it with a kiss And I would leave it at her door Ain't no if ands, or prallies I love every molecular element of her body No one can replace my mommy You're my queen, you're my love Mrs. Joyce Renee Hunt And I'ma give you whatever Joyce Renee wants Let's There's nothing like go. a woman I love you, girl Cause no matter how hard it gets Beautiful, 
Far from the usual, I appreciate you from your follicles to your cuticles. The stride of your walk, the vision of your talk, the beauty of your brains, the strength of your heart, the smile on your face, the depths of your faith, the power of your passion, your immaculate, your great, the liquid that I bleed, the air that I breathe. I want to thank God for making Eve. There's nothing like yeah. a woman. I love you, girl. Cause no matter how hard it gets, you never run away from the world. You're always there. There's nothing like a daughter. Cause daughters turn into mothers. So we dedicate this song to you. We dedicate this song to you. Bring it. Yes, yes, yes. That was K Nels, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, give us a call. Let us know what you think about the song. We got a caller calling in right now, 240-455-934. Good morning, peace and love. Welcome to the Peace of the Morning Show. Good morning, good morning. All right, that sounds like my good brother. Is that is that my good brother right there? Yeah, yeah, something like that. What's going on, baby? Hey, hey man, look, <laughs> hey, K Nels, man, let's give you a big round of applause, brother. In the studio, in the studio, man. You rock that joint, man. I love that. I appreciate that. I didn't know I you were doing. I sure. didn't know you were doing R and B as well, man. Yeah, no, it's uh definitely well versed. Uh, the song was collaborated me and a good friend of mine, Sam Collier. Um, you know, we was just sitting back in like 2010, 2011. It was just before Mother's Day, and um, you know, we dear mama came on the radio. And we like, yo, this song is forever. Like, no matter what, every year. You know, we're going to hear this song around that time, and we just wanted to, to do something to that effect that could be appreciated. And it's six years later, and my mother loves it more and more every time she hears it now. So shout out to my homie Sam. But that was the idea behind that. Hey, man, I, I love the song. Um, you know, the fact that you honored your mother, put your mother, you know, on on the worldwide stage. Uh, Absolutely. By, by, by doing that, you know, your, your sisters and brothers, I uh, grew up in Annapolis, Maryland, uh, and, mm -hmm. and just, you know, really powerful. You know, what does it mean in terms of for you, you know, to be able to live your life and your passion? I remember you, uh, we used to, you and I used to have freestyle battles <laughs> back in the day at the boy, at the boy, Annapolis Garden right, Bowling right, Club right. Boys and Girls Club. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> so you always had it in you. But what does it mean for you, you know, now to be able to live your passion, man, and do music each and every day, you know, but fully blown. I mean, you're not playing with yeah. it. You're actually producing music. What does that mean for you to be able to fill out your passion? Absolutely, man. The, the more and more I live, the more and more I learn and understand purpose. And, um, you know, everybody has dealt the measure of talent. And I feel like I would do myself and the world a disservice if I didn't operate in that purpose. So, you know, I just reached a point in life where I just understood that, um, you know, the, the most important thing for me uh, to, to, to be and do is what I love and what I was put here to do. And like you said, just to, just to tie it in, just being able to honor my mother, you know, and my father as well. But, uh, of course, I'm a, I am a piece of both of them. So, it, you know, it took their genetic makeup in order, uh, for me to be here in the capacity in which I am. So I always have to appreciate that no matter what. So, I, you know, definitely want to pay homage to your mom and your dad. You know, the Hunt family's been big supporters of ours, you know, uh, in the community when we were working back in that time, uh, you know, yeah. just to have positive people that, and families that helped to grow and support. But, you know, K. Nels, man, you, 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 you also spit fire. I mean, you, you, you bring it hard when it comes to hip-hop and, and your <laughs> lyrics. You know, you, you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best of them, and I mean that from the top of my heart. Absolutely. As as a, as an emerging and growing artist, you know how have you been able to evolve, and how important now is it for us to use the mic uh, as a, a vehicle to really free our people versus sending us to jail? You know, we love to. Well, I, let me take the back. Uh, the the media and the record industry loves to promote music uh, that mm -hmm. talks about killing and shooting and and disrespecting women and all the things you can hear, you know, Absolutely. on any given radio show, but. Why is it that now, you know, you want to make sure that you bring conscious with the same yeah. fire, same energy? Why is that important for our community today? Uh, because it's, it's about controlling the narrative. Um, 
you have to one for me one of the main reasons why I, I feel like this platform was designed for somebody like me is because uh influence mm. uh, i always i didn't i never really chased um you know the 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 fortune or the fame I understood that that come with it but the most powerful platform for me is the influence and to be able to influence so when you can control the narrative a lot uh, oftentimes in music you know everybody talk about how it's reflective of the environment that many of us come from and that's fine but it's always a um, perspective you know you can glorify you the, the choice is yours to glorify or be real with the realities that's going on and I was always made aware by my siblings that was out there in those lifestyles. My parents, aunts, uncles, everybody was around. So I always saw the full spectrum. So I, I saw my brother's uh, the ability to be able to glorify the lifestyle, but they also told me the flip side, too. And too often that flip side is not being, being publicized because I think if you tell any young person uh, or anybody with any sort of common sense, you know, the realities of what can happen, the realities that you face, then you kind of create a different uh, perspective at which they can not only view but understand the circumstances that's before them. Uh, so, you know, that, that that's the biggest thing. And I understand why the media sensationalizes everything because profit. I mean, we turn on our TV, it's sex, it's violence. It's, you know I mean, that's what's dry. It's the reason why they push in those types of stereotypes and those types of narratives because they want to maintain a certain level of thought. Um, you know, but any time you can have dialogue and, and conversation and change that narrative, uh, and then you can get people to understand who they are. And then once somebody understands who they is, no matter what you try to peddle to them, uh, they control the narrative. So I think that's the most important part, you know, self-identifying. No doubt. Well, you know, thank you very much, brother. It was very eloquent how you, you know, you started off, though, talking about controlling the narrative. Absolutely. And that's what we want to do here at eLife Media. So I want to, you know, just... Uh, welcome you to come back and also Absolutely. share your music with you and, and at least once a month, you know, we'll definitely highlight one of your songs, feature Absolutely. you, bring him back on, uh, bring your group in. When you come in the studio, you can, you know, definitely come by. When you come Absolutely. back home and come uptown. Yeah. But, um, you know, sure. we're real proud of you, K-Nels. Anything you want to say to your, to your listening audience and your fans <laughs> out there before we roll out? No, nah, man, I appreciate it. As always, I appreciate you. Like I tell you, you know, sometimes... You know, servitude is definitely a thankless job. And, and, and somebody like yourself who's dedicated your life to certain ideas, it's just great to see. And somebody like me, it's going to keep me motivated, uh, regardless of my circumstances. So I just want to, you know, continue to spread love to everybody out there, uh, tell everybody to, to, to just understand themselves. Uh, a quest for self, of love of self is most important first. And then life will kind of figure itself out for you. So um, other than that, man, again, I, I just always appreciate you and appreciate your platform. And you know I'm an added supporter. So if, if my phone ringing is you or my mother phone ringing is you, you know you got my attention, you got my support no matter what. Hey, brother, I appreciate that. And I just want you to know you touched my heart. You sent me a note a few weeks ago uh, sharing some of the same very sentiments you just shared. And it was Absolutely. at a time where I really needed, you know, that pushing that and that pump, 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 pump me up. So, <laughs> thank you, my brother. We go, we look, and we're gonna keep on doing our freestyle. Next time you come on, we're gonna make sure we do a little freestyle in the studio so the folks can see how we can flow. You know, no matter where it is, no matter where we go, because we keep it live Absolutely. right here. Peace in the morning show. That's K Nels, ladies and gentlemen, calling us in from ATL. His song "Woman" uh, was a, a big hit today. Uh, definitely reach out to him. You can find him on Facebook at K-K-A-Y-N-E-L-L-Z. -K -K That's K-A-Y-N-E-L-L-Z. Look him up on Facebook. Check him out. Listen to his music. Positive brother. Very strong. You heard what he said. Controlling the narrative. So, Mom, as we begin to wrap with today's show, we want to be able to uh, transition uh, by talking about love, you know, and just making sure that we love ourselves and how we use this platform as asset-based communications. The program that we went to this weekend um, with some dynamic folks, tell us some of the folks that were there, Dr. Kumar, your experience with the uh, International Peace Council um, and USA and how we plan to, you know, get involved and really share that information because in your travels, you know, the brother, Dr. Kumar, who was the founder, we'll share a little bit of his interview at another time. But the founder said to us, there are over 200 
countries in the world. Yet, there are only four or five who seem to be always involved in some type of violent war conflict. And it has a major impact on our world. And on the rest of the world. This is so true. Um, when you're talking about traveling, I also want to say that um, I, I've worked in the UK, in London, Manchester. I've worked in Paris, France. I've been there. Um, I've been working in um, Morocco, Casablanca. In Morocco, I've been now I'm working in um, uh, the Gambia, and I've also had a project working with people in Cameroon. So when you're talking about going to these different countries, something that you have to bear in mind is that in African countries and the Caribbean, a lot of people, even in Europe, are pattering after the West, hmm. putting down the beautiful culture of African clothing and heritage and dancing and drumming and taking on uh, music that has no message that's powerful or uh, presentable, applicable to their daily lives, positive, but music that's downtrodden. When I say that, I mean condemning women, condemning the very mother that put us on the planet condemning family, marriage of the male, female, and the procreation of children. And all of this is what is allowing the wars to continue because people are paying into, and when I say paying into, they're paying into the world that makes them less than who they are. For example, the hair industry, the false hair industry, the uh, human hair industry that's coming out of Asia, and India, Caribbean, I mean, uh, Korea, Phil Philippines, and Brazil, China. Over a $50 billion industry right here in America. We as a black people have this kind of money and that's what we're doing with it. And we want to complain about there are no jobs. Our children can't get school loans and grants. We can't get money for our small businesses. The money's in the weave, people. The money's in the weave. The money's in the extensions. The money's in the wigs. When I was growing up, my mother was a beautician for over 35 years. People came and with their wigs, they brought them to the shop. We cleaned them. I myself used a chemical to cleanse them, wash them, brush them out, have them shining, and put them on a mannequin. It was unheard of that a woman would sleep in her wig. Today, women count for 98.9% .9 of the weave industry, black women. In Africa, it's a multi-trillion dollar industry. It's a trillion dollar industry. We have that kind of money for weaves and wigs and hair weaves, extensions. We should have that kind of money for hospitals, clinics, for schools and universities, in for eyeglasses in our own community. We should be owning organic farmland. We should be having training programs in technology, the most advanced state-of-the-art technology. We should have science programs, a holistic approach to STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. We should have all these things instead of trying to make ourselves have something that isn't even of ourselves. We are throwing ourselves away with tattoos, destroying our bodies. We're putting things on our bodies and in our bodies that are poisoning our bodies, that are destroying us as a people. So what does this do to our community? It makes us to the point that our children are now our child laborers. You have a coltan in Africa that comes from the Congo. Children are mining that coltan from ages 7 to 14 years old. They're dying in those mines. They're mining them with their hands. But we're constantly getting new technology, brand new phones. We're getting updates on the phones, things that we don't even use. And it's child labor that's paying for this. So I, I before I just cut off, I want to say that this is an industry that we have to wake up as a people. False nails. When you women go get your nails done in these Korean shops, these Vietnamese shops, these Philippine shops, do you notice that not one of the workers there, not one employee has acrylic nails? Not one. And they wear something to cover their mouths because the chemical is too strong for the lungs. 
What's our problem? Speak up. What's our problem? I dare you call me and tell me how great the wig is, how great the weave is. If you have cancer and you're bald-headed, I could see it. If you're having something done, some treatment to your scalp, and you want to make yourself look nicer than having your bald head, I could see it. There's nothing wrong with the bald head anyway. Africans have them short hair all the time. When are we going to accept that we're super beings? When are we going to accept that we're being lied to about ourselves and played on? I talked to you about the bathroom, stool. The, eating, the foods that we eat are so foul-smelling. There's a multi-billion dollar industry to cover the smell. All the different things they sell in the store to spray in the bathroom so you don't smell. You kill yourselves by holding your bowels so nobody can smell them when you go to the bathroom. That bowel backs up into the system and causes brain problems. Like a baby who has gas and it can't have a bowel movement. We hold our urine so we can keep our jobs. Look at the culture. We're begging ourselves to be a part of something that's not even good for us. We just need to reassess our situations and make some better decisions. All right. So we, um, we, we talked briefly. Thank you so much for sharing uh, why weaves and, and wigs are, are, are first and foremost not what we need to support if it's an industry that is pulling our hair out, that's causing cancer, that's uh, really destroying young girls, um, hairlines, hair, they don't even have hairlines by the time I, I, 20 Excuse years me, old. I just want to even go a little further. Um, uh, well, later in the week, I will bring a document. And anyone who wants it, I'll send them to you. Just send in your email to uh, the show, to the program, and I will give it to you free of charge. It says, uh, why are we charging African women and blacks throughout the world, women, creating a new Rwanda, the killing of our own people and economics? Some of these weaves have caused worms. A woman bought a hair weave. She had it put in. Two weeks later, three weeks later, she started to have some kind of headache lightly. Another month, it got worse. After two months, it became unbearable. She went to the doctors. The doctor gave her something to take for it. She took it for a while, but the headaches became enormous. Worse than migraines, she was falling down. She finally went to another doctor, and he took her in to a neurologist, and they did some CAT scan and some x-rays. And lo and behold, they found worms. They found larvae that were burying holes in the skull and laying eggs. I'll show it to you. When you see women digging in their head with a pencil, patting their head, those are microscopic bacteria worms eating into the scalp, I bet you. Have a great day. Thanks for this opportunity. Peace all out. right, all right, all right. So we are definitely going to wrap up here, but we are so excited about having our international co-host in the studio with us, Queen Ayasudebe Ramkisun, and uh, our young brother, Cassiana. Yes, thank you so much, Lord Cassiana, for being in the studio with us this morning. We also had our good brother, Delicate Daryl Barnes. Uh, we talked about and showed you a little clip of the Rolling Grimes show. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to share that with you a little bit more. We'll be sharing a little bit of the show all week long, as a matter of fact. We're going to give a little segment because you missed a treat uh, from the live Rolling Grimes show. So as we start to roll out, we're going to give you a peaceful moment um, as we close out. And this peaceful moment is focused on how it is we're able to take ourselves to the next level. Peaceful moment. We want to make sure we understand the importance and power of prayer. When we continuously put prayer on our minds, in our families, in our cars, at work, in school, in our communities, in our neighborhoods, it has all of the benefits that we need in our lives to continue to motivate us, to motivate ourselves, to encourage us, to connect with ourselves, to connect with our spirits, to connect with our ancestors. Prayer has power. The very words that you use in your prayers, we should be using all day long. So the peaceful moment today, when you have a moment, 
Take a minute and say a prayer. Go out to the sun, put your hands up, lift them up, and pray. God, 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 God. That's our peaceful moment here on Peace in the Morning. I'm Darius A. Stanton, your host. Thank you so much for our station manager, engineer, Roland Bubba Grimes, and all of you out there for joining us today. K. Nels, thanks for the call in, brother. We appreciate you. Peace in the morning. Peace and love. I'm Queen Ayasudabat. A-Y-A-C, like car, O-D, like David, O-B-A-E. I'm on Google. Look me up. Eat to live, people. It's not what you're eating. It's what's eating you. All right, now. And we're going to go out on one of Queen's songs that's going to take us out for the afternoon, this evening, rather, as a matter of fact. Um, so listen out for us. You can check her out on iTunes SoundCloud. That's where you can find her music. Uh, definitely want to go and check it out, listen to it. You'll love it. Um, you heard two of our songs today. We'll be playing it throughout the week. And we're so glad to have our good brother, Cassiana, in the studio with us. She did an excellent job. I want to give him a big round of applause. Peace and love. Peace and love. That's Peace right. Love. So Thank you me. can look forward to seeing Cassiana uh, some more uh, with us live in the studio and other children because this is an intergenerational show. And we want to make sure that we have from zero to 105. As a matter of fact, I just spoke to my great aunt, Aunt Liz. Happy Mother's Day and happy belated birthday to you, Aunt Liz. 101, 101 years old. And ladies and gentlemen, here she is, Queen Aya Sudebe. What song is this, Queen? Together we can make this change. All right, all right. Together we can make this change. That's right, folks. Remember, 9 o'clock. Peace in the morning. It doesn't have to be that way. People suffering, children starving all over the world. 